We've arrived after 24 hours in buses and we are packing the kit for the first time. It's all a bit of a mess right now, but soon we'll be organized. And we're gonna take on the Rio Puello. We had taken the overnight bus from Santiago to Puerto Varas, from where we continued by bus and ferry to the start of the Rio Puello. A mountain river with immaculate turquoise waters surrounded by lush green forests and snow-capped peaks. This was the reason we had come all the way to Chile and Patagonia. Our journey had finally begun and what a few months before had been just dreams was now our reality. The morning light was beautiful and this river serene and we enjoyed the few kilometers of paddling that morning before having to pack up and hike around the canyon section with rapids slightly too powerful for us to paddle in our little rafts. We realized just how heavy the bags were and that the hiking over the next few months was going to be tough. It started to rain a little as we hiked, but as we reached the turquoise waters of the Rio Puelo, the hardships of the hike and the damp weather were soon forgotten, and we floated down amongst waterfalls and rapids with minimal effort, savoring the moment. The rain settled in that evening and we found somewhere in the woods to camp out. By the next morning though, the sun came out to greet us again and we continued on downstream. The wind was against us that day as we headed west towards the coast and we opted take the ferry back across Lago Tagua Tagua rather than battling hopelessly against these strong headwinds. The following stretch of river had some great bouncy rapids that were fun to paddle, giving me my adrenaline fix. As evening crept up, we found a camp spot for the night and made ourselves comfortable. If you enjoyed this video, please do subscribe as there will be another 8 episodes of our journey paddling through Patagonia coming soon. Thanks for watching.